Share the story. Share the story. Share the story. Share the story. I think um, if you look at Samoa and other countries of the Pacific, there are the state activities which um, are immense. And, but if you look at what happens in the villages right throughout Samoa, people are usually volunteering services for governance, then they're volunteering services for schools, they're volunteering services for medical care, be it a traditional uh, medical care or the public health system now, um, usually run and assist, uh, assisted by women's committees, so forth and so on. So there's a lot of activities that people take responsibility for in the villages for their own care and their own governance. You see the growth of uh, civil society organizations much more in the urban areas. You see a lot more of people having to create new systems of governance, as in the local church groups or local women's groups. There's a whole new growth of new instruments of care and governance in the urban areas, including the growth of the civil society organizations. The indigenous systems of care were already formal anyway, mm -hmm. that at the moment there are new growths within the urban situation, which is supplementing what was already formal anyway. So what we need to recognize is that activity that was already there, which falls within the parameters of what the United Nations see as voluntary contributions, voluntary um, uh, systems. And I think we need to give name to that, that which was already there anyway, and the new supplementaries that have taken root now.